everyone welcome back in this video we are going to compare evil genix with the evil punch okay so very first point about the setup so when we are doing evil genix setup we need to git clone cd into the evil genix start the evil genix and then find the configuration and once we save the configuration then we are ready to go in case of the evil punch you just git clone the evil punch start the evil punch and whatever the configuration you need to add it's already available in the dashboard so here i would like to give plus one for the evil punch now next thing is obviously the domain so in case of the evil genix you can only add one domain name and in case you need multi domain setup you can add multiple subdomains but you cannot add multiple domain but when it comes to the evil punch you can add multiple domain you can add the multiple subdomains too so here also i would like to give the plus point for the evil punch next is creating the links when it comes to the evil genix we need to add the command called lores uh, create and then fishlet name that should create the link now here we have option to add redirect and all but all of that stuff need the knowledge or technical knowledge or common knowledge right but it comes to the evil punch everything is graphical user interface by one click you create the link by one click you add the redirector or the proxy so i would like to give plus one for the evil punch in this case next is session management so whenever we share the link we get lot of sessions so in case of the evagenix all of those sessions are saved in the database file if you are going to read that particular database file then it's a crazy mess because first of all you will not understand and if you are using modified evagenix in that case the database structure might be different but when it comes to the evil punch everything is represented on the dashboard here you can delete the session create the session edit the session or deactivate the session so basically i would like to give plus one point for the evil punch in that case also now let's talk about this server so when it comes to the starting the evil genix server when you start the evil genix it automatically start the evil genix server but when it comes to the evil punch you need to start manually evil punch server for the http proxy and evil punch server for the dns so that makes little bit harder so here i would like to give plus point for the evil genix in this case next thing is concurrency for example in the case of the evil genix if there are thousand users are coming then evil genix is designed in the golang and golang is known for the concurrency so that's why the evil genix is going to handle the proper really good way okay but when it comes to the evil punch it is designed in the python and it is not optimized for the multiple concurrency that's why it is not going to handle as much good as traffic as compared to the evil genix so i would like to give plus point for the evil genix but but i would like to mention one more point in case of the evil punch if you add more capacity in the server then it will provide the same efficiency and same performance as evil genix when it comes to the multiple concurrency or concurrency in general next is fishlet creation process as you know both softwares are little bit complex and both has equally hard process for creating the fishlet so here i will say zero for each next point is flexibility and user friendliness so when it comes to the evil genix it is designed in the go language i know go language has its own benefit but if i compare go language with the python their go language has a less popularity so that's why less people know about the go language so let's say if someone wants to modify the source code then it becomes really harder but when it comes to the evil punch it is designed in the python and almost everyone knows python and all ai models are really optimized for the python i would say because most of the data they trained on is the python from the open source project so in here i would like to give evil punch the plus point now time for conclusion both software has a equally pros and cons okay now but if i talk about the future then definitely i will say evil punch is way to go now when i say evil punch way to go i'm not saying that evil genix is not valid or not that much efficient or not that much valuable yes evil genix hold its value it is not going to go away any time soon but what i'm saying is evil punch has a nice interface evil punch is using python evil punch has a nice dashboard so data management becomes easier evil punch is using database like postgresql or sql like so in that case handling large amount of data becomes really really easy so in short evil punch is the future and evil punch is the way to go so i would like to say evil punch is the winner but you might have different opinion you might have different experience so i'm not going to interfere with your experience 
use both and decide which one is better and which one is easier to use and tell me the results in the comments thanks for watching see you in the next